Let's take a look how I made this vertical isometric text here in Illustrator. For the font, I'm going to go with medium regular. It's a free font you can download. I can leave a link in the description. Right click on the text, create outlines and right click on group. And the first thing I'm going to do is make these letters really wide. So I'm going to start with the letter P. I'm going to select the direct selection tool and select the right part of the letter P, drag it on the right. Also press and hold shift. Now we're going to need to recreate the letter A. I'm going to recreate that from the letter P. So I'm going to duplicate, press and hold Alt, drag it. And I'm going to go and select the erase tool, press and hold Alt. And I'm going to zoom in and remove this area right here. I'm going to select the direct selection tool and select these two anchor points, bring it down, make it intersect. Let's go to the Pathfinder, Unite. And I also going to need to make it more wide because this one is like more wider. And I'm going to bring this here. And with the direct selection tool, I'm going to select this area and just make it more wide. Let's select the eraser again, press and hold Alt, delete this area, press and hold Alt, right click, transform, reflect, vertical, click OK. I'm going to bring it to the left. And with the direct selection tool, I'm going to connect it. Select both, go to Pathfinder, Unite, and we got the letter A. Now I'm going to go to the letter N. I'm going to make a rectangle like this and select both, go to Pathfinder and click on Divide. Select, right click on Group and delete the unnecessary parts. And I'm going to select this one, position it on the right. And with the direct selection tool, I'm going to extend the middle area. Now we're going to need to make it more wide as well. So I'm going to select this anchor point and these two and just press the right arrow. This width I think is pretty good and I'm going to put it in the center. It's not that bad. I'm going to select it and unite it. And the rest of the letters are pretty easy. I'm going to arrange it to the center and stretch it out. And repeat the steps with the rest of the letters as well. It should look something like this. I'm going to recolor it to gray. And let's go to the effect. 3D materials, go to 3D classics and select extrude and bevel classic. And let's go to position, select isometric right, and I'm going to increase the extrusion depth. Click OK. And what I'm going to do here first is arrange these guys. I'm going to select the letter P, right click, arrange, bring to front, press and hold shift, select the letter A as well, right click, arrange, bring to front. The letter N is good. I'm going to press and hold shift, select it, and then select the letter T as well. Right click, arrange, bring to front, and repeat the step. And now I'm going to need to select the letter A. I'm going to search for the letter A, select it, press and hold shift. Let's go to the letter T and the letter R. Now we're going to go back to the extrude, click on it, and we're going to go to the position and change it to left. Click OK. From here, you also can reposition it a little bit better and squeeze them in. Let's select all of it, go to object, expand appearance, and I'm going to scale it down, select the letter P, bring it to the right, press and hold shift, and I'm going to select the letter R, bring it to the left, press and hold shift, select all of it, and let's go to three dots and select horizontal distribute center. So it's going to look something like this, a right click on group, a right click on group again, and I can separate all the shapes going to need to select them one by one here and yeah, let's go to Pathfinder and click on Unite. Now this shape is also going to be in the way. I'm going to go to the object, lock and select selection. So now I can go and select these areas and go to Pathfinder, click on Unite and I'm going to lock this to Control 2 and repeat the step with the rest as well. So after you are done with the forms, you can unlock them, go to object, select unlock all. Now you can go and recolor these shapes with the swatches. Great, now I'm going to select all of it and let's go to the stroke, add some stroke. And after that, make sure to group every each letter. Select it, right click, group. Do the same with the rest. Now, but least the last step, select it all. Go to the line and select horizontal align center. And this is it. Thanks for watching.